Cox is close to 21 weeks pregnant and a historic move. She went to the courts last week to ask for an abortion after her physician determined her fetus had full trisomy 18, a lethal fetal anomaly. The courts granted her request, but it was swiftly blocked by an emergency stay requested by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Sky Perryman says Cox having to flee the state isn't just a dangerous precedent for her, but millions of other women across the state. It could lead to more medical complications, and we also know that there are millions of women in Texas who are not able to travel out side of state to get the care that they need. Jonathan Sines says he wants to know who's advocating for the child. Points to a 2020 medical study that looked at a 26-year-old woman who was diagnosed with a chromosomal deformity, also known as Edwards syndrome. One of the things this study says is that early detection and parental education has a lot to do with babies surviving well into adulthood. Only about 50% of babies diagnosed with Edwards syndrome live past the first week. While Sines says there aren't any legal penalties for leaving the state to get an abortion, he hopes Fox will choose to get a second opinion.